So the concept is it's a monarch butterfly bakery and it serves as a resource for them to stop and drink water you know, with the plants and help them with their breeding. When you have little kids, you're always looking for a project to do. Yeah. To be like, let's build something that the butterflies can use is yeah. really cute. Yeah. And I made a checkerboard floor, which I really love. That's individual pieces. That's a tiled floor is what that is. There's a lot of wow here. Bauhaus Butterfly Bakery. <laughs> Great job, Lily. Thank you. Justine. What is it? <laughs> Justine. <laughs> I'm going to turn into the creepy person that's always asking you for a hug. It's not the right climate. I made this. Yes. <laughs> um, I made a car, a truck for my dog, Lou. I've never seen any pet bed home like this before. It's got a great outdoor feel. So chic. It is. Question, though, how does Louie get out of the car? Well, I, I thought of that. He's an older dog, so the back opens up, and then there's a ramp. Oh, my oh. gosh. <laughs> like a doormat that I cut off, so he's got some traction to get up in the back. I'm so impressed by just a little electrical tape as a door handle. Yeah. Now that I can do. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a car that two dogs would make out in. Is that weird? No. You know Lou is like, got a lot of bitches that he likes to call up. And that's not derogatory, because that is the name of a female dog. That's right. Wow. Hey, guys. This is original to the max. And the painting of the face is really striking. The concept is fantastic, very surprising. Like, we never thought we'd get a samurai mask yeah. out of this. I wanted it to have humor, and I wanted it to really speak to the character of my turtle. He's very zen. I thought that the moss and the rocks was enough to create this kind of, like, safe harbor. The turtle would come in there and just, like, start oming out, you know, like, <laughs> feel, feel that one with space. Great job. Well done. Thanks, Great guys. Great job. Look at this dog guarding this house. Man, <laughs> he looks thirsty. I think he is. <laughs> so I wanted to do kind of like a modern style dog house just because I feel like German Shepherds, they're kind of like honorable dogs, prestige, so I kind of wanted to give that like modern feel. What was your architectural inspiration? My house looks kind of similar, so that was an inspiration for it. It's like a tiny house. But for a German Shepherd, it makes sense. Those are big dogs. Yes, yeah, I wanted to give it a lot of space. I appreciate your clean lines, but I think at times that yeah. gets a little tough when you're dealing with originality. Oh my gosh. Well, 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 Archie, have you been a good dog or a bad dog? Basically, I knew I wanted to have fun with this, and I wanted to do something Willy Wonka. I love the edible wallpaper, and I love the, like, weird trippiness of it. Um, yeah, so it I is very wanted wonka to play that. Yeah, It really is. The decreasing size of the dog bones themselves on the walls mm -hmm really add to the illusion of forced perspective. The floor is like extraordinary because it's not easy to do when you're also doing a lot of forced perspective walls. So you've really pulled it off. It's cheerful and bright and it's so well constructed. This looks great from every angle. Great work. Thank you. Step inside Jesse's magical, mystical tour <laughs> of optical illusion. It looked big when I entered, but it keeps getting smaller. Are you a good dog or a bad dog, Archie? So I wanted to make something that created an atmosphere for both a dog and a cat. <laughs> to like have their own spaces. It's like meant to be like a video game level. I lifted it up to make it look like this was also kind of like lifting out of the ground. There's some details inside as well. Oh, wow. Wow! You're very theatrical. Like if you throw some lighting in, you want mylar here, you also do this surface in signature Floyd patterns. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you truly go for it. Craftsmanship is on point. Thank you very much. Hi, Rebecca. Oh my gosh. This makes me want to get down. Yes, agreed. <laughs> this is my Palm Springs paradise. <laughs> oh my gosh. God, that's a good pun. So I designed this for my actual cat. Her name is Bella, and she's super bougie. The entire top is a scratching Oh my pad. gosh. So it's very interactive. And then if you lift it up. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> oh, I made a little cushion for her and a little pillow. It is kind of interesting because you've got 70s wallpaper, <laughs> but then you've got that kind of 80s Golden Girls situation here, and then a mid-century architectural look. And um, 
I'm kind of nitpicky about that. Well, you know what? Bella went off the rails after her divorce, and she, <laughs> she made did. some bad choices. She did. But she's back on track. Right. And she's ready to hang out with her girlfriends. <laughs> mm. Wow. This looks so cool. Thank you. I built a giant milk carton house for a baby cow. Did you guys see what's inside? Yes. Excuse me, Winona. <laughs> Whoa! I thought it'd be cool to have your clean, industrial, like, food paint job on the outside and then a super just fun, whimsical, artistic yeah. paint job on the inside. It's very starry, starry night in there. Yeah, exactly. Well, you thought that would be a cool juxtaposition. Mm -hmm. Guess what? what? It is. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> it's so great. My mom's dream, but also, like, mine as well, is, like, she wants to live in, like, a farmhouse. And I thought it would be, like, Really cool if we did get that someday as a little like housewarming gift to have like a pet cow. <laughs> Very original. Well done. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great work. The detail and the emotion. I mean, thank God we are not judging. This would be so bad. I'd give first place to at least five of them. Makers, our faster craft showed us the power of teamwork. Then in our master craft, we return to what people love about this competition. Ruthless backstabbing and bare knuckle fights to the death <laughs> as you made cute houses for animals. <laughs> now, the judges are going to tell us what they thought of your creature comforts. Guys, you completely wowed us today. This was a very difficult choice because I've seen a lot of pet houses on Etsy, but yours stood out and they were super original. But there can only be one winner. And this week's winner of the Mastercraft is... Jesse! Jesse, this is a symphony of fabulous design, this black and white floor, forced perspective, and the space was functional and incredibly comfortable. We loved it. <laughs> In a ball. I'm really excited to win my first patch like by myself. I didn't think I would win two in one week. It feels good, but I think everyone kind of deserved it.